Hey kids, today we are working on a P-O-U-L-A-N. I've heard it pronounced like Poolin, Poland, Poland, Powellin. I've heard it, uh, I'm not, it's not English class, people. I believe it's Poland. I call it a Poland chainsaw. Anyhow, great saw. This is made for homeowner use. This is not one that you're going to bring out in some commercial industrial logging site and start cutting down some big trees. This is just for your homeowner. That's what you and I are. And we are going to learn how to adjust this thing. A lot of these come from a box store. They don't set them up as factory settings as they should. So, needless to say, we're going to tweak it. We're going to get the low end and the high end in junction with each other so she can idle correctly and run correctly so she has the torque that she should. The tools that you're going to need come in this nice little tool kit. I'm going to send you a link to. Every saw on the market has its own specialty screwdrivers. There's eight of them in here. Yep, they coincide with other ones, but like, for instance, Poland, Craftsman, Ryobi, Husqvarna, John Sered, Still. They all, they all have their own type of screwdrivers. So, and most of those commercial industrial ones really work on uh, regular screwdrivers. But, um, yep, you're going to need to tweak them with a specialty screwdriver. This one comes with, or you should own a 21 splined screwdriver. Yep, they're screwdrivers. Looks like a socket on the end. But we're going to get right to it. So, I'm not going to name the owner's name on national, I mean worldwide YouTube. I'm not going to name Rich's name, my neighbor. I'm not going to say his name. But Richie came to me. Oh, don't call him Richie, by the way. He hates it. Rich. It's a true story. I mean, if it's short for Richard, there could be worse names that they call you, but Rich. Don't call him Richard. Mm -mm. Gets angry. Gets angry. People. All right, so we're going to mess with the L and the H. The T is for that throttle linkage. linkage. We're not going to mess with that. We're going to see if we can get it to run right. We'll mess with that later if we have to, okay? But the low end and the high end, all right? They're basically airflow gas mix ratio screws. That's what they're basically, basically, but we just say low and high. Turn them all the way to the right clockwise till they stop. We're going to see how far, how far out of whack this one is and how far we got to go. Uh, some people come back a half turn. Some people come back a quarter of a turn. I don't want to pull on this all day, even though it's a pull, pull in chainsaw. Pull in. That's how you pronounce it. Here we go. To the right. Man, yeah, not bad. Uh, about four turns. We're going to come back a whole turn. Um, so what I do is I set my screwdriver up so I know. Now when I have to gas on one, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. Okay. Spine end, top. Spine ends back on top. Here we go. Do the same. How many turns? That's quite a bit. But we're going to come back the full, say, everything's the same that we're going to do right now. Back a whole turn. And hopefully she will start. I just heard it out in the driveway. I did. She's running rugged. All right, the things that you want to wear. There's some hearing protection. All right? And really cool hats. I always have a different hat every episode. You know what it's at, right? I shouldn't have to tell you people. It's a different hat. This is a hard hat liner. I'll send you a link if you want. Yeah, I'll send the link. Why not? They're really warm. Uh, I usually have earplugs in my ears. But today, we want to be obvious. Because people were freaking out that I didn't have hearing protection. Calm down. Just calm down. I got. Can you see it now? Can you see my hearing protection? It's on, people. Thank you for your consideration. All right, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to get in the way. It's going to get loud. You're going to probably want to turn the volume down once it starts running. But we're going to tweak it while it's running. We're going to get in and out quick. We're going to choke it. 
Yeah, hit that primer ball until you feel some resistance. I just had heard it running, so. Okay, so let's come back to the left. Another half a turn on the low. Another half a turn on the high. We're counterclockwise to the left. We'll get her. We'll get her. We're getting close. How close that was. that I've been trained with, with my elbow on this handle, my left hand on that throttle. So my left side is holding that saw, and I'm working it with my right hand. So if she did come at me, I would have a way to protect myself. you got to be on your toes when you're working with these things. Vice is the best way to go. Or wood clamps. Um, the other thing is, when you get that idle down, you want it so your chain basically stops moving. That's how you know where your low idle is. If you go too low, she's going to stall out, but she should start right up without having to have your chain brake on. And Because when you start it, you really want to be able to give her the gas and get her running and warmed up, right? You don't want to run the chain brake when you're giving her the throttle. You're going to ruin the brake and the clutch and all that good stuff. So those are my points. Get her so the chain stops moving. It's okay if she kicks a little bit once in a while, but your goal really is on low low idle that that chain stops moving. And high, uh, high throttle, that you can hear that torque. You can hear it and feel the snappiness of it. If you're not getting that snap and if you're getting that bogginess, then you're still out of sync with your carburetor. That The ears will get it after a while. You can get a tachometer for these things, but... You know, if you're, if you're just a single homeowner, you got to learn how to adjust it yourself and tweak it yourself. Send you a link to the tools. Send you a link to the hat. Send you a link to the WorkTunes headphones so people don't freak out and say you don't have hearing protection. Appreciate your participation thus far. Bye. See ya. Peace out.